Oh, yeah. Ha. It's that time, y'all. Now, we did have an official online or live State of the Collection. I had invited all my friends and whoever else wanted to come on here. And we had some, some great people in the chat. We had DK from Senior Con Reviews pop up. But I want to show you guys in, you know what I'm saying, some honorable mentions from 2021. And then we're going to go right past 21 because we're in 22. And we're going to talk about some watches. Now, you hear that noise? Big watches are ahead. So if you're not into big watches, tread carefully. <laughs> Welcome to the lifestyle and let's get into it. This is so dope, a man, a man with a watch Looking like he broke the bank, but he promised me he's not He said he got started from his wife and a pop's watch Face so fat, the band had stretch marks It shines so bright that you can see it from Mars Man, he blinded me, reflecting headlights from the cars He's got to be your rapper, baller, or a movie star But nah, he's too humble to be all of the above So he said my name is Trap Oh, cause you bees in the trap? Nah, it ain't even like that and he tilted his bull's cap Introduced me to his wife And she had one too Wrist game so cold That she could build igloos Out of nothing They legit They even bless their kids Man, when they all send in the road They look like 4G out of rims Alright, so peek this out, y'all I want to do something a little different, man You know what I'm saying? Now, for those of you guys That are new to the channel I am Trap Vision 3D, right? I've been an Invicta collector for a long time, man. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to breeze through these watches. Now, these are not all of the watches I received or uh, purchased or even was gifted during 2021 leading into 2022. However, I am going to go through it the way I'm used to, which is like Expo style. You know what I'm saying? So, if you've ever been on the Invicta Cruise, y'all already know what this is, man. Got everything set up. Just for, you know, I'm just jonesing because normally we getting ready for an Invicta cruise this time of year. February be the time, of, like the end of February, we on the cruise. But that's neither here nor there thanks to uh, this uh, pandemic thing. But anyway, I'm going to show you guys some of the watches I got. And then we're going to have a whole discussion about what we're doing this year, 2022. So first and foremost, let me go ahead. Oh, shout out to my man, Vic, Magnum Vic. You know what I'm saying? I had to rep. The first watch I'm going to go through is a watch that... It's very controversial, even with Invicta collectors. <laughs> they like, why do you need all these chains on this thing, man? But that this is what the Invicta company gifted me, y'all. I got this watch. I wore this thing with good health, wore it to work. And, you know, when they were like, hey, yo, what is that, bro? That watch is huge. Some people liked it. There were a few that didn't because they were like Seiko and uh, Rolex fanboys. They said, no, nah, we don't like that watch. But I was like, hey, it's mine. I like it. This right here is called the Gladiator. You can see here on the back, Reserve, uh, Z60 movement in this bad boy. And they have so many different variations of this, man. This is just one of like, I'm going to say 200. I think it's like a, I think it's about 200 of these things out now. Next up is I have to give a shout out to Invicta 202. I got my first pocket watch this year. You know what I'm saying? So, well, 2021. And this is a Venom I actually uh, set at the... Uh, what was that? Starbucks. When I kind of reviewed this. But this is uh, the Venom. Pretty big piece. I think it's like 56 millimeter. Pretty big. And that actually works. Moving on. And granted, none of these are in a particular order. This is something that my wife bought me. This right here is now called the Fusion slash Hybrid. They were called Hybrids at first. But like now, uh, I don't know what they're doing. But... This is, you see how thick the watch is, it's reserve, has a Z60 movement in it. It is supposed to mirror uh, what they call a um, master calendar, which I'm pretty sure I have one in here. Yeah, I do have one here. So I'll show you that. Matter of fact, here, let's look at a master calendar. This is the newest one. Wifey got me this one. This is a master calendar. You can tell by the function pushes on the side. And I recommend if you do use those function pushes, which you will have to at one point, uh, use a toothpick. Don't go in there with any metal, especially with this this type of plating. But this is my Tano Reserve. Invicta don't make these that often, but I just got this for Christmas. Love that furnace blue. And one piece that I'm is not wound yet, but this is one of my prized possessions. This is a Pro Diver Reserve. 
And as you can see, it has the uh, Mother of Pearl. You see that? Yeah, right there. Dark Mother of Pearl has the Salita 200 in it, powered. Ah, I get love that reserve bracelet right there. So this is one of my prize possessions for 21. And I'm going to show you, this is a piece that I picked up at a uh, an Invicta event. And uh, I will show you some more, but we're going to have a whole show for that one. But anyway, this is the Invicta version, but this was the first one. This is an Imperius. You can see. See the difference? See the Invicta? See the Imperius. See the Invicta? See the Imperius. Yes. So now I have two of these in my collection. This one right here I purchased uh, over the summer. This was gifted to Gifted to me by my bro, John Gang Gang Gangy. You know what I'm saying? And since we're talking about watches that I receive from great people, this is another piece right here. My very first man of war. And I can't mention this one without mentioning this one because this is the Invicta version. This one is the Imperious version. Automatic quartz. Automatic quartz. Yep. So. This one right here is, of course, you see the case is a lot bigger than this one. 48 millimeter. This one's a 50 millimeter. Both are sweet pieces, man. I will go in uh, detail with these as far as review later in this year. Now, something I didn't never thought I would ever own, but this is one of the most quirkiest, fun, most fun watch I have in my collection. It is a Vostok Kamandersky and... It's, I mean, what can I say about it? It's comfortable. I've, I've actually worked out in this watch. I've put this watch through the ringer, beat it up pretty good, and this thing still running. I've only had it for like uh, maybe a little over a month now, but uh, like I said, it's quirky. That, that <laughs> Hey, shout out to DK, man, because he, he actually explained to me what this crown, I thought it was broke because it wobbles, but it's actually like for the money, pay like 60 bucks for this piece, and you can get whatever strap you could tell. The wear I was wearing it, so you know it's like sweat on that thing. Uh, speaking of DK, I actually purchased this from him this well 2021, and this is a hold on, I'll show you. Let me go ahead and wind that bad boy up a bit. You see that mechanical tourbillon? Yes, it's the Chinese tourbillon, it's not Swiss made. Or I would have to sell my house to own this thing. But, uh, yes, got my turbine. It's not my first, but this is the one I, I received this year. or well, 2021. I keep saying that. Man, it, it's crazy. We're in 2022 already. And then I got a pretty good deal on this one right here. Actually paid 50 bucks for this watch. This is a Jason Taylor. All right, number limited. And if you don't know who Jason Taylor is, he is in the Hall of Fame. He used to play for the Dolphins. You know that one guy? You know, the ladies like, you know, anyway, uh, got this uh, from my man. Well, actually, uh, a, a good friend of mine, the collector, you know what I'm saying? Cool, calm, and collected. He, uh, my man Vic, actually fixed me up with this, man. He said, hey, bro, I can get this out to you, man, 50, 50 bucks a piece. And I bought a couple. I bought my wife an X-Wing. I got this one. And uh, this is the Excursion. You can tell a tank tread style on there. I like this bracelet. Pretty beefy watch. And a watch that I actually won in a raffle. Sabakwa Noma 7. You could tell by the seven pillars that they have right there. As well as, and these things highlight, they light up pretty good. Then you have the seventh one up there at the top at 12 o'clock. This one has a 50-50 C in it, I believe. I thought it was 84 in here, but it's not. Uh, so you see a little retrograde, retrograde date. No, as a matter of fact, it does not have the retrograde. It just have the... Uh, they have the week pointed up here at the 12, and then the big date down here at the 6. You can see that right there. Yeah, it's not set right. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and then I actually received this this year, my first Android. Very first. You can see the open heart movement right there, but the rotor is actually on the front of the watch. That is the most interesting thing I've ever seen. Um... I actually I put this in like one of my my top ten watches that I own. Not own a lot of watches. I actually like this with the four o'clock um, rotor. I mean not rotor, but uh, the crown is sitting there here at the four o'clock, and that mother pearl is ferocious, man. Pretty nice watch. 
moving on, I actually, this right here is a staple for, uh, you know, uh, every time I look at this watch, I think about breast cancer because this watch was given to me uh, through breast cancer. Uh, we raised a lot of money for people, which, again, if you guys hadn't seen the Meet Nile Awards, man, go check that out. I actually won Humanitarian of the Year uh, for this, you know, for my efforts. And I didn't do it by myself, but I was blessed with this watch. It was sent to me uh, by OV Knock. And uh, this one right here, gold. And I'm not real like a real big gold fan like that, but this watch will always be in my collection. It ain't going nowhere because it's just a reminder that, you know what I'm saying? I'm supposed to always help people. That's all I, I, I know my mom used to always tell me that. You know what I'm saying? Help as many people as possible. Next up will be one of my favorites. And there's actually three. There was three in the series. Uh, there's what they call the Batman and then the uh, Pepsi bezel. And this one I'm calling the Green Lantern. But um, titanium, very simple piece. NH35. Nothing to write home about, man. It's a nice little beater watch, but I like it. I like it. My first titanium piece. Can't complain. And then it's this bad boy. Very elusive. Um, I wasn't able to get this. I wasn't able to afford it at the time when it first came out, but I tracked it and wanted it. And I was always in a position to when it came back available, I didn't have the money to get it. However, this year, or 21, your boy was able to score this bad boy. This is Sabaku number three, Heritage, Salita 200. You see the case back, and it's signed by A.O. Lalo right there on the back. Set that right there. And this is technically my first heritage piece from the Invicta Watch Company. This right here is another excursion. Now, that looks like gold bricks on there. And this one is rocking the Salita 200 as well. So I have a few Swiss made time pieces in my collection, which, you know, and the, these are actually like small diamonds, little small diamond chips around the hour markers. Ah, what can I say? And next wing. This was originally made by Imperius, but when Invicta bought Imperius Company, um, they put their stamp on it, but you can't find this. This is a number limited piece. And this was, man, blessed to me by my man, John Gang, Gang, Gangy. And he is an X-Wing fanatic, bro. Like, seriously, got me one more X-Wings as well as my wife. <sighs> and then there was Aragon. Yes, Sea Charger. Thick boy. But that bracelet. Now, the bracelet is what gets me every time. You know what I'm saying? It's very comfortable for it to be as big as it is. It's well balanced once you get it strapped on. And then uh, once you get it, boom, slap that, slap that down there. You got two points of security on this bad boy. So you, boom, the friction. But then you have to, bow. you see that? Yep. Sound effects come free. Now, one of my favorites, which I, I love it. And I love this watch. But then I, and there was a few things that I wish and Victor would have done with this watch. One, you see the reserve right there. All right, there's reserve right here on the bracelet. There's an NH35 here in the back, and then there's this. That's the only thing I can deal with the NH35, you know. But if you would put a reserve bracelet on it, but then you know, I probably would have complained and say, Well, if you got a reserve bracelet on it and you got reserve there, this should have like a, a Salita in it, you know what I'm saying? Something like that, or something fancy back there. I am hoping that Invicta remakes this in a true, and I'm calling it a true reserve. And look, guarantee you, I'll pay the extra money for it. <laughs> I will pay, I'll pay for a Salida movement, you know what I'm saying, uh, in a reserve bracelet. You can't find this, this bracelet. They don't have it in reserve because I was just going to buy the bracelet and say, hey, you know, I'm good to go. But still, one of my, my favorites. All right. Then we're talking about the big boy. I just showed this the other day. I used this in a battle against my man Vic. You know what I'm saying? Um, this is another hybrid Venom. And I like this because of the double open heart. Just adds another feature to the watch, man. Something fun. You know what I'm saying? Like it's it's these watches are completely, completely off the scale as far as, you know, this isn't your typical, you know, dress watch or you know what i'm saying your high profile watch these watches are nice fun to collect they're inexpensive in comparison to other watches man and that's one of the things that draw me to these watches 
and I like that big old crown. And, and of course, it's that right there is screwed out crown. A lot of these are screwed out. I think of all the ones that I had, only had a few that wasn't screwed out. And I have to go. This is my go-to right here. I actually woke somebody up early in the morning to let them know that this went on sale. Another Sabaqua specialty. Graffiti, no fingerprints on it, man. But it's just a funky, fun watch to wear. This one is powered by the 8040N Swiss Quartz Movement. And that right there steals the show. Not only is it graffiti, but then you got the black spinels going all the way around this piece. Pretty nice. I dig this watch. And I saved this one for last. I saved this one for last. I know y'all see it sitting over there. <sighs> My man, John Gangi. I actually purchased this from him because I wanted a millipede. This watch is on a whole different level. And I have, you know what? If I met Wayne, I would shake that man's hand because I think this is such a great design. Man, this watch is crazy. Look at that, man. Like, it does remind me, like, if you kind of, like, skeletonize or, like, put metal over a centipede or a millipede or something like that, this is what it would look like. So this watch, like, the should go on a Decepticon or something. But I, I love the bezel. I love the loom. I like everything about this watch. It's comfortable. And I've been wearing this. It's like my go-to. I've been just, man, been wearing this and some other watches. So, ah, that, my friends. Let me see. What is that? 15 minutes. Took me like 15 minutes to go through all of these watches. And I didn't even show you all of them. So, let's get back over to the table. Him. Okay, family. So we ran through that pretty quick, man. You know, uh, here's the deal with the watches and stuff like that, man. I, I really enjoy collecting uh, these type of watches. Uh, I know some people have questions uh, throughout, you know, me dropping videos and stuff like that. Uh, not so much, you know, you guys like Bob and Vic and all you guys are pros when it comes to collecting watches. However, there are some people that's like, hey, you know, I, I want to collect certain watches. Uh, one I didn't show you was this Pro Diver on a leather strap, my very first one. Uh, so it's watches like this that if you're interested in, I can give you more information on them. All you have to do is let me know and I'll tell you exactly. And if I don't have the answer, um, somebody else will. So in just a few short minutes, of course, uh, this is a premiere. And yes, I'm going, I'm going to be live with you guys. We're going to be talking uh, because I have a challenge for myself. Uh, and now I want to talk to you guys about a few things. You know what I'm saying? One, I'm limiting myself to, I said eight watches. I don't think that's possible. I can shoot for it, but I said I was going to limit myself to 10 watches this year. Because last year I bought a lot of watches. A lot of watches. Okay. Uh, I was gifted a few, a decent amount. Uh, we could, you know, we could talk about this stuff, man. Um, but what I'm going to ask you guys here in a few minutes, once we go live is, you know, what are you guys looking for, uh, this year? Are you guys setting any goals? I'm not saying, you know, new year's, new year's, new year's Eve resolution, get it out. <laughs> um, do you have any though? I mean, are you setting goals for yourself? You know what I'm saying? Because I'm going to share with you guys here, like I said, in the moments, um, I got a sneaker goal that I have set. I'll show you guys. Let's just do this. Because I'm going live, we can talk about this stuff. You know what I'm saying? Like, so, in about, you know, two minutes, see you guys back here, or we can be live. So I can, you know what I'm saying? Chill, it'll be daylight then, because it's night right now. So, family, until uh, <laughs> this live start, may y'all be blessed.